Hello, my name is Chelsea and I'm going to show you how to use the reports in QuickBooks Online. To access the reports, you will need to choose reports from the left hand navigation panel. You will then be presented with every report that QuickBooks produces and as you can see, there is a lot. Probably the most commonly used report is the profit and loss, so let's take a look at that. So if I click on profit and loss, okay, so here's my profit and loss report. QuickBooks defaults to run the reports for the last month, so mine is looking at the data for March 2021. However, we can amend these to the periods we want to look at using this top section. In this drop down, there is a selection of default periods that you can look at, or you can choose custom at the top. So if I was wanting to look at how my company has done for the last 12 months, I could put custom in the drop down and then I can input my start date as the 1st of April 2020 and my ending date is the 31st of March 2021. And then I can click run report. My data is now shown for the period I selected at the top. When looking at the report, you can click into any of the numbers that have a blue line underneath them when you hover over them. So if I click into services, QuickBooks then shows me the detail behind how this number is made up. I can then click back to report summary and I'm taken back to my report. This report in particular is helpful in working out how close a company is to the VAT threshold. So you can run this report each month using the 12 month rolling period as your dates at the top and you can see what your company's turnover level is for the period. So for this company, in the last 12 months, their turnover was only £24,252.38, so they are under the £85,000 VAT threshold. Each report in QuickBooks works in the same way, so there is the toolbar at the top, so you can tell it what period you want to look at, and also they all have the feature allowing you to click on the number to find out the detail behind it. If you have any queries or comments, do leave them below. If not, feel free to check out our other videos.